So we're at the outdoor art exhibit of Toronto Art. <laughs> it's been a long, hot day in the sun. And I'm with Agata Ostrovowska. Thank you very much. I'm sorry about mispronouncing your name. Um, and you have this very interesting text-based print work. And of course, this was how Artless Pro used to be done. When I was That's doing right. my reviews. <laughs> and then I was accused of ripping off Hemingway, so I stopped. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so here we are. Now this is really interesting. I can almost kind of fall into this work uh, and it, it creates sort of a dynamic, intimate kind of relationship right away, especially since there's sort of a, a fine line or there's a psychological tension between absurd nonsense, intimacy and, and, and narrative sort of going on with these. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about your process? Yes, absolutely. Well, I think I think it's really important to uh, write or do make art around uh, very personal things. So uh, these, uh, uh, this series uh, here is called Things I Do, um, as well as, uh, and we're looking right now at a collaboration uh, of uh, the public and, uh, and, and myself. So um, the series of pieces of uh, uh, that uh, Things I Do is I, I take an idea like I make or I feel, I love, and I just repeat and I write uh, it's a stream of consciousness. Uh, I don't make... I don't make any corrections. I just uh, uh, go go for it. I use liquid paper wherever I catch myself. It's either full of mistakes, um, full of imperfections, <laughs> and in a world where everything is autocorrected for us, uh, it's so nice. Yeah. It's so nice to be uh, uh, accepting accept, accepting your own mistakes. You gotta. You can't trust artwork <laughs> that has no flaws in it. If exactly. it's too slick, it's yes. <laughs> it's too slick. So Absolutely. it's yeah. This is. A, I think it's it's in Mexico. Though it's been a lot of time there, and and. You know, a lot of things they build with stuff have deliberate flaw because yes. the, the superstition is not to challenge God by making yes. something that's perfect yes. or that kind of philosophy. Yes. Now let's take a look at these like really playful, wonderful shadow boxes yes. here. But these have hello, hello, hello. I feel like dumping <laughs> that into a sea and seeing like how many like washes up on far yes. shores. You know, what's in the pill? Oh, it says hello. Those, that's really wonderful. And yes. then we have all these like wasps. Yes. Well, I don't typically put little animals in, in capsules, but uh, these I was weren't working. Live, of no, 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 no. I was no. working on this series, and and I found all these dead uh, little things on my desk, and I just thought. I have to write about it, and I have to uh, sort of celebrate their life or death in this in this case. So uh, it was uh, very creepy, but uh, I felt good afterwards. Well. Yeah, it's just really powerful. It's one of it's one of the ones I noticed. Uh, um, this entire entire fair, as a matter of fact. Uh, really? Oh yeah, yeah. That's a really that's a really nice one. Yeah. Uh, not that these aren't all yeah. nice. <laughs> now these this is uh, it's just getting in such great abstract formulas kind of like uh, theory in here yeah. with all these uh, these colors and and nonsense going on, but it's not nonsense, is it? Well, no. So the left side, is, this piece is called Everything Must Go, and every time I use that uh, sentence, it's in red. And it's amazing that uh, I'm using antique turn-of-the-century typewriters that in, in, in the early 20s, they were using black and, and uh, red text. So oh. the left side is, is, again, my stream of consciousness. I just write, sit down in front of a typewriter, and you automatically become a writer. And I just uh, uh, go with the flow. And, uh, and then on the right side, I take the finished um, piece, and, and I type it backwards. So um, it's almost like it becomes a different language and it's very uh, um, uh, cathartic and, and very so the left is, is creative and the right is uh, repetitive and, uh, and, and, and process oriented. So. It's, one of the, it's one of the tests of, uh, for me, judging a, a work is whether, I mean, if I get it right away, if it's gimmicky or punchline, it's like, okay, yeah, great. Uh, but if you can actually sit there for hours and, and kind of look at it and you're still getting new stuff coming at you, that to me is a sign of good art. And this is like a very meditative... Meditative you know, is the word I was yes, looking for. Meditative yeah. is, is a kind of quality to that. Well, there, there are pieces that are, are very detailed and, and, uh, and they start out with a very generic idea, but they become very personal. You know, I write about what I feel and, and what, I, what, what, what I'm experiencing and about life. And again, I think it's really important to be... Uh, true and, and uh, personal, but um, uh, you know, so it's, it's uh, yeah, it's very personal work. Yeah, I, I bet it is. And uh, if you're in anyone like reads all of the work and it comes to you with like strange out of context like quotes oh, that you so said. Oh, so people get really attached. Like you know, once they start reading, it draws you in. It's kind of like a detailed painting. You're not really seeing everything at once, but yeah. every time you look at it, you see something different. So, yeah. uh, and yeah. then hopefully something that you relate to. There's something powerful about words in a box that nothing else can compete with. So <laughs> really, really, it's yeah. just like plenty of fish or something. I don't know. And thanks, thank you so much. It's a really wonderful show. Thank you. Thank you.